Scorpio placements. So, Scorpio. Whoa. Chill out, Scorpio. What are you waiting on? Uh, you want to say something, but at the same time, you don't want to say it. It sounds like you have like options or you're at a crossroad. In a way, you're waiting for a sign to be given to you so that you have the clarity on your choosing. And that is the... In a way, you equally want both opportunities, both situations, both people. But you don't want to make that decision just yet. You're like, mm, I'm going to hold off and see if I get a sign from the universe or whatever you believe in to be sure. <laughs> you know, you're like um, holding off making a decision when it comes to two things. Mm. Yeah, you're waiting for that sign. Damn. You could be praying, you could be asking the universe, you could be writing in your journal for an answer. You're like, please help me. Please help me choose. Don't, don't leave me now. Give me the answer. Show me the way. Who should I choose or what should I choose? Because I see that you want to give your energy equally to both situations, both offers, both people, like we said. Whatever it is, it seems like you don't really have the clarity to make that decision just yet. And you're not making that decision until there is a sign that you know, something tells you, yes, this situation, this person, or that person, this situation, you see. Mm. Well, let's see if we can assist. How can we help? Maybe this will be your sign. Who knows? <laughs> How can we help Scorpio with this? Scratch, 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 scratch. How can we help Scorpio choose or maybe with this, you know, because at the end of the day, you choose, not me, not you, not, not, not me, not the universe. How can we help Mercury? Leave me alone. Okay. How can we help Scorpio? <laughs> I swear, I can't, I can't put the words out. All right. We'll take it seriously because I've been shuffling for ages now. How can we help Scorpio with this? Hmm? Interesting. Wow, very clear message about you having to face your fears. So if there is something, for example, let's say example, okay? Maybe this is your situation, but you apply it. So if there is like a, for example, a past situation and a new situation, it's telling you the reason why you have a past situation from the first place is because there is something there that was not handled and so it stays in your life. And until you have that handled, you will be confused if the new situation is for you. You see? 
The confusion is not coming from new beginnings. The confusion is coming from old experiences. And in a way, this is telling you to face your fears because in facing your fears, you will gain the clarity. There will be something or your sign will be not like uh, in spirit or giving you the sign. You know what I mean? Like, so, for example, if you're waiting for a sign from the creator, the universe, uh, it's not going to come to you in that way or in that sense it will actually be said to you verbally or acted towards you so it will have a physical substance to it okay and whatever that physical substance of clarity that will come to you as a sign could be not your main focus so in a way spirit is telling you your focus is off. The answer is not out there. The answer is on the realm of the physical. You can you can you can hear it, you can see it, you can he, I said hear it already. You know what I mean? Like I feel like something will something or someone will do something, will say something, and that will be within that there will be your sign. So, okay, let's pull more. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune is here. Maybe this is about time, patience. The circle, the circle, the cycle of life. Oh, you could be, you could be finding yourself circling to a situation that you have been repeating over and over again. And you could be thinking, well, there must be something, there must be a reason that I am put to repeat this cycle, this circle. It feels as if you think of it as a sign of... I don't know how to explain it. How do I explain it? Let me pull more cards because how do I explain it? It feels... It's like your focus is not where it should be to get you the answer that you need to hear, that you need to see. Does that make sense? So if I'm looking that way, but there is the answer that way, I need to shift my focus. This is basically telling you to shift your focus. Where you are looking for answers is not where you're supposed to look for answers. So in a way, this is like you're not looking where you're supposed to. See, you know, sometimes the answer is right in front of us. But we don't get it. We don't think it's that simple or that easy. Like, no, nah, it can't be that simple. I mean, the answer cannot be that obvious. Sometimes the answer is really obvious. But because it's so obvious, you question it. You're like, that can't be right. I'm going to wait for another sign. I'm going to wait for a sign that is of, of my liking, shaped in the form that I find acceptable when seeking or looking for an answer. And, <laughs> you know, like, this is what's happening here. It's like, you could be, like, looking into it too much that you don't see the obvious. And the answer is in the obvious. I hope that makes sense. Let's continue and see where this goes, because it's not really... Yeah, the tower is here. Seven of Swords, King of Swords, blah, blah, blah. A lot of swords here. Judgment. Mm. Ten of Swords as well. I think something bit me. See, 
I've, you know, when you are too close to the problem, you don't see the solution. And when you talk to someone, they are like, how do you not see it? It's obvious. But because you are emotionally involved, this is an emotional situation. Uh, whether it's career, love, I don't give a fuck. Take it as a resonate for you. This is something you are emotionally attached to. And the answer is like so vague to you because your emotions are involved. This uh, is telling you not to lie to yourself. It's telling you you are only delaying what's inevitable. Whether this is in a good good way or bad way, I can't really see it. I feel like the offers or the confusion between the two or the crossroad is, is a good thing. But you might be confused about which way to go based on experience. Now, No, I don't feel like the issue is experience here. The issue is how you see things. And it could be not an issue, really. It's just a shift of perspective that is needed here. Because the answer in your life is obvious, but you're, you don't believe it's that. it can be that obvious. But it can. It is very much possible. So you kind of have to ask yourself, where is that resistance coming from? Where is that ego, I want to say, coming from? Because the moment you start to expect to be treated in a certain way, whether you are spiritual or not, doesn't matter really. It feels as if like you are wanting to get the answer that you actually want, then the answer you think you want. Does that make sense? Oh, it's so hard to explain. Okay, let's let's say this on a subconscious level, you've already made a decision, and the decision is not in favor of your fate. Now, there isn't really a wrong decision to make, but there is definitely delay. So you can delay what's inevitable, but that's, that's all you're doing, delaying the inevitable. Um, and we all know if you keep holding on to a rope that's being pulled, you will eventually bleed. Sometimes letting go or opening your hand, changing your perspective, is all it takes. So this is in a way telling you, don't lie to yourself, really look within. What are you asking the universe? Are you asking for, are you asking the universe for a specific answer that you have been wanting in order to justify your decision, basing it on it, basing your decision on it? You know what I mean? So, and that this sign is obvious, but you, in a way, you're like turning a blind eye or actually not knowing that you're looking away from the problem or looking away from the confusion, when really the confusion is, is kind of like self-inflicted because the answer is obvious. What do you have? What do you what do you, what do you want the universe to do? Because I just heard I just heard what do you want me to do? But I wanted to say the universe. So what do you want the universe to do? Slap you with a fucking piece of paper telling you the answer? The answer is Scorpio. This this that. That is the choice. Go for it. What? It doesn't work like that. And maybe this reading is your fucking sign. And hopefully it will shift your perspective or maybe look at things from a different way. 
because that's all that is needed here. So for example, if you're looking left, look right. If you're looking without, look within. If you're looking inside, well, actually no, if you're looking outside, look within. So in a way, like it's telling you to just do the opposite of, well, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you that actually, because you have to figure that out on, you, on your own. Do you? It's, <laughs> I'm gonna say it, but don't, don't do as I say. You have to find that truth within you. I'm not just giving you instructions, okay? So, in a way, this is telling you do the opposite of what you're doing. Because what you're doing is not working or is not where you should be looking for the answer that you've been wanting. Um, but you have to find that truth within you before you apply any advice, before you apply any uh, whatever. You have to find that truth within. You have to, you have to. Because that, that's, that's how you learn. And that's how you prevent yourself from falling into similar situations. That switch could teach you how to sail through life on calm waters. Hmm. Okay. Let's move on to the prominent energy of the people surrounding Scorpio or in Scorpio's life, or energy, I should say. of swords. Hmm. My right ear is ringing. As if we have summoned someone. You have someone here that is very rational. They like to think rationally. They like to see the facts or maybe they have certain facts that they once they've decided it's not easy to change their mind now i see this person wanting to treat you the way you treat them now i'm not sure if that is in a good way or a bad way but let's see Wow, in a good way indeed. This person is, um, this person feels your energy. They feel your energy. And at, and at the beginning, I was go going to say, they, they, they think about you, but it's beyond that or more than that. They feel your energy. I'm seeing like uh, two people with a cord between them. The cord is energetic.
they feel like there's some type of connection and not in the in the terms we understand but there's a connection between you and this person on an energetic level what you would call a soul tie or an energetic cord hmm. Does this person want to be back in Scorpio's life? Because you're not with this person. This is this is a person that is feeling you. They're not seeing you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't like, especially with the Six of Swords here, you're not together. See, I see that this person wants you, but I feel like there's a but. Yeah, but they don't want their drama. They don't want, they, they don't want their drama. They don't want the drama, Scorpio. See, but I see them waiting. Waiting for what? Oh. Rego <laughs> renegotiation. Damn, Mercury is kicking my butt. Mm. Yeah. I think they want to talk. But they seem to be waiting. Judgment card. <gasps> Hot damn. This person knows what you're going through. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Semi chills. Okay, so this person somehow knows of your you know when you talked about your energy the confusion the 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 twos that you're trying to choose from or trying to decide on this person knows of that whether they are involved in it or just know about it they're waiting for that mess to resolve itself because they know after you resolve that mess, there will be a reconnection between the two of you. Now the Emperor and the Empress is here. So, this person is going to wait for the mess or the confusion to clear in your energy. To be dealt with. So that's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for you to figure shit out see this person is not wanting to involve themselves into or they don't want to get involved in influencing your decision which is a very very mature thing to do but also a very knowledgeable thing to do like, how much does this person know about you, exactly? I mean, the fact that this person feels an energetic cord between the two of you, that, that says a lot. They have high level of awareness. High level of awareness. Whether this is observation or energetically doesn't matter high level of awareness here they have a mix of logic and i want to say 
spirituality, but I also see emotional intelligence here. This is not someone that would waste emotions for no reason. Like they are... Um, they are that, that high level of awareness. Does that make sense? And so this person is just waiting for you, baby. It's like, I'll just, I'll just look from here, you know, where things are clear. I'm just going to wait for Scorpio to sort uh, their mess. <laughs> A little bit of arrogance there as well. Well, not really. I mean, I don't think this person is rubbing anything into your face or saying anything. I feel like they are like they have pulled themselves back from getting involved or influencing you. They are so aware. I mean, did I say that already? So aware, almost like um they can predict or they can see you know you know when there's someone that knows what's best for you or can see the solution but they hold back and let you figure it out like that's the energy that's here They're not going to you and saying, by the way, I know what's supposed to happen or I know what you should do. They're keeping their mouth shut and letting you take the stage, you know? It's your life, deal with it, deal with this confusion, you can do it, but I'm not going to get involved because if I do, then I might. Because, you know, sometimes when you try to to make someone aware of something, they could resist it because they think they are being criticized or attacked or um, being parented or mothered or fathered, whatever it is. So this person understands this. This person is like, okay, you do you, you do you boo. But I know how this will pan out. And they can see that you need time. And letting you have that time. You know, they're not getting involved. Ace of Swords, yeah. They believe that you will come to the conclusion that they already know. No, I am curious now. <laughs> Should I get nosy? Because I see here that they... It's almost like they're making a prediction of what will happen. But to, but from their energy, it seems like they are logical. They don't seem like, you know, with a crystal ball. They just can see where things are going or how things will play out based on how things played out in the past or how things played out or playing out in the current moment. See what I mean? Somehow this person has like intel on you, I want to say. <laughs> they know things. And I don't know how they know, but they know somehow. Okay. Um, so there is that. I mean, what else to say about this? I don't know. I mean... I don't think I'm going to extend this for you, Scorpio, on this occasion, because I don't feel like there is more to say about this. Or to investigate, you know, this is very clear and this is something you're going through. But you have someone here that is observing that. Somehow. Whether they are... doing that physically or energetically, who knows, but I'll let you, I'll, I'll let you figure that thing out. 
because that's that's where this reading is going. I feel like the the main message here for your reading is that you need to change your perspective or at least you don't want to change your perspective. You just kind of have to experiment shifting your perspective and see if it works, right? Yeah. I'm not going to extend this reading on this occasion for you. Um but I wish you the best of luck and I will see you soon.